What is going on guys? This is Nick with Teach All Tech and this week we are doing a review of the app Ava. Ava is a live captioning and accessibility app that is free in the App Store. So we'll go ahead and pull up the page for that. You see just type in AVA and here it is with the ampersand Ava 24-7 Accessible Live. So basically what this app does is while someone's talking it captions what they're saying in real time. So um, let's say if you're deaf or hard of hearing, or you could be a student and you want to record a lecture, um, if you're you know, in a meeting and you just want to get basically a record of the meeting, that kind of thing, um, it's really cool because it has it. So it has a free plan, and t they're telling you about this here the free plan, which is five hours of captioning for free every month, which is actually a pretty good bit of time um, if you think about it. And then they also have this unlimited plan for $30 a month. But today I'm just going to show you guys about how to use it and see if it's something that you want to take advantage of. So I went ahead and downloaded this before the video, and we'll go ahead and open it up now. And we'll let it send notifications, and the reason for this is because while it's running, it will send you a notification, which you do want. It just lets you know that Ava is running in the background, um, so it's something useful to have. So it's pretty easy. So let's say caption with Ava account. This would be to create a new account. It asks you for your phone number, and I'll just go ahead and use the business number here since I haven't signed up with that one yet. All right. Okay. So after we put in the verification code, let's give it a name. So let's call it Teach All Tech. Why not? This is going to be our username in the app. So this is how other people can connect to us, which I'll show you guys a little bit about in a minute. Okay. So now uh, this part is just asking you to kind of sort of tell it a little bit more about yourself so that it knows how to best help you. So I'm going to say I can hear well. So you can see we had a couple different options on there. And on here, let's just say other reason. And we'll say recording college lectures. OK, awesome. So now it's just letting us know we have five hours for free. Oh, the first month's unlimited. OK, that's actually new. They weren't doing that last time. So that's pretty awesome. Let's do try it out now. OK. So now it's just been talking uh, these words on its own, sort of giving us a guide to the app. But when we hit this blue microphone, it'll start captioning what I'm saying. We have to give it microphone access. This is an Apple thing. Thank you, Apple. All right, so now we are in the app, and it is captioning what I'm saying in real time. So you can see it's pretty fast. OK, yes, that worked well. Thank you. No, I don't want to connect with a friend. Nope, nope, OK. Okay, so now we are back to Ava captioning what I'm saying in real time. And you can see it's pretty accurate and it's pretty quick. So I'm using the school's internet connection here, which is pretty fast. And there is a little bit of space between me and the phone, so that might be affecting the quality of the caption. However, one of the cool things that you can see on here, if we go to the settings, so one of the things it does is it lets you set the microphone, which means you can do a Bluetooth microphone, or I also have a um, lavalier microphone, the kind that you can just clip on. So I'm going to pull this out. All right, so you can see just this kind of just like a standard microphone. I think this was five or six dollars on Amazon, so nothing crazy. So you can see, yeah, just like one of these kind of standard, pretty cheap guys. Okay, so now I have the microphone plugged in, set microphone, and we're going to change it to headset. So just something I've noticed personally is that after you connect a sort of a dedicated microphone instead of just using the one that the phone has here built in, it seems to work a lot better. And I don't know if this is because... Um, the external microphones are just that much better, or if it's just because the iPhone microphone isn't the best. I'm really not sure how it is or why that is, but um, it, it does work a lot better, I've noticed. So if you're going to use this app for something, um, just recording anything important, or even if you just want to have better conversations with it, I would recommend getting one of these lavalier clip-on microphones. And another option you can do is just a standard Bluetooth headset. So just like one of these guys, I also connect one of these too sometimes when I'm using it if I want the wireless experience. And this is a little bit easier too just because it's hands-free. My phone automatically connects to it. Uh, this is just a Jabra. This was $20. So it's a little bit more expensive. But 
that wireless functionality is extremely nice. So let's delve into the app a little bit more now that we have the microphone connected. So, so you guys know this microphone down here, this is the caption, turn off, turn on button. So if we hit that, yeah, it's gonna say you're unlimited. Don't worry about it, my man. Got it, thank you. Um, so this would be if you're not talking. And one of the things that I've kind of noticed with this app is if multiple people are using it at the same table, sometimes there's this thing called crosstalk where if two of the microphones are picking up someone talking, then they're both gonna be captioning what they're saying in the app. And sometimes that gets kind of annoying. And again, that's another reason that you wanna use one of these lavalier clip-on microphones is because it will reduce those errors and the phones are gonna better know who's trying to talk. So we have this button down here, and this is for adding additional friends to the conversation. Little, um, like a contact plus button. We hit that. Um, these are my contacts, so I'm gonna blur them out for you guys, but this is another one of my profiles. So this is the normal one that I use, and you can see there, it's showing that I'm offline right now, and there's a connect option. And if I hit connect, what it does is it sends a sort of like a message to my other phone, the, my normal phone, and it says, Teach All Tech would like to join you in conversation on Ava. And then I just hit accept. And once I do that, there's gonna be two little bubbles up here. So the T is for, for Teach All Tech, so that's me. And then my other one would be an N. And what's cool is it'll show who's talking based on what color. So you don't have to necessarily be there to understand who's saying what, the app will figure it out for you. So that's pretty cool. And another feature on here is if you are tired of talking, then you can just hit the keyboard and type in a message and it'll still come through on here. And this would be useful for, let's say if you have a bunch of different people connected and you guys can't necessarily talk like you're in class, but you still wanna be able to send a message. So you can pause the captioning and say, hey, Guys, did anyone miss that last question on the quiz? Boom. And then it sends it out into the conversation just as if you would have said that out loud. So it's a, it's a pretty handy feature that it lets you do this with the keyboard. Um, and we're going to go back to, let's do mail. Okay. So let's go back. Okay, so now I just want it to be just back to recording uh, normal audio. So, and so that's the keyboard functionality, adding contacts, and again, off and on button. So if we hit our little logo over here, this pulls us into the settings. So this is pretty cool. The support, it's actually a live chat, and sometimes you actually get connected with the founder of the app, which is pretty crazy that he's dedicating that much time to just giving people support and teaching them how to use it, uh, but it's awesome. So. Uh, his name is Tebow, and it's spelled like the Balt, but um, he's a really awesome guy. Um, one of my clients who we use this app frequently because um, he has hearing loss in one of his ears, and it's sometimes difficult for him to understand everything that I'm saying. So he has actually had correspondence with this guy, uh, Tebow, and they, they talk and email, and they send each other reports and stuff, and it's really cool. So this guy is a very involved founder, I would say. Um, so let's go ahead and go back here if we go to the settings. Okay, so this is where that first question asking us, can we hear or are we using this because we're deaf or hard of hearing? Um, that's where you can change that. Font size, you guys saw me do this earlier in the video just so it's a little bit easier to see. So, um, you know, you gotta turn it up, especially if you're trying to uh, make sure everyone can see it. But if you're in solo, like if you're just recording, recording something for yourself, you can turn it down as small as you want to fit as much text on the screen at one time. So that set microphone, we already walked through this with you guys. Um, speech language, this would be if you spoke something besides English, which unfortunately I don't, so we're not gonna mess around with that. Uh, the curse words, curse words filter, um, this is pretty funny. So they, they put this in, I guess, to make sure that if you have children or let's say, um, if like you're at church and you're recording, if you're captioning at church, which is one of the, one of the uses for this app, they wanna make sure that a word isn't misheard and then they say, you know, like a, a bad word, an expletive, and they put it across the screen when that never should have been the case. It was just a, a, a mistranslation. So um, you can, this is the strongest level. So no curse words, common words. This would be, I'm not going to say it for you guys, but I'm sure you can think of what some common curse words would be. And then all words are allowed. Let's put it on this just for fun. So that, that means there's not going to be any sort of filtration for the words that they're saying on here. 
So, you know, this is just sort of the standard stuff. I'm going to have to cover that up. This is just the standard stuff, you know, at the bottom of most apps, the terms, privacy, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all that jazz. But the FAQ, so the FAQ actually takes you to their website, and there are tons of articles on here, guys. I cannot even... Uh, count all of them. There are so many. Um, so let's just go to this one. So Help Center. This one says it's got 44 articles. And the articles pretty much teach you how to use anything that is related to the app. So like new to Ava and technology. So, you know, this would be like something that I would be helping people with if they don't really know where to start. Um, new to Ava. So this would be if you already have an iPhone but or an Android and you just want to be more familiar with the app. And there are a ton of these. So you can just scroll through if you have any questions about how to use the app and find your answer in there. Um, and then this little blue guy down here, this is actually an automated chat. So I don't know if it's, AI, if it's real AI chat where they're actually trying to answer your question based on what you're saying using machine learning or if it's a, a real person. But these guys are pretty advanced, so I wouldn't be surprised if they are using an AI chat just to uh, make their support queue a little bit smaller. Um, but we'll go ahead and go back. Okay. And show QR code. So this is another way that you can connect with people. So access the camera. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. Um, but basically, if someone else has Ava, then they can just scan this code and it'll automatically connect. So QR codes, they never really took off in the way that a lot of businesses uh, and certain organizations wanted them to because they're not very popular. It's often, oftentimes a lot easier to just give someone the username. <laughs> but um, they have this feature on here. I, you know, it might just be for show, but it is on here. So if that's something that you're going to find useful, you can find it in the settings. I'll go back. Uh, and then this is share. So this would be like if you wanted to text someone your username or text them a link to add you as a friend on Ava and get connected. So um, you've got a couple different options on here in the settings. Okay, so now we are back in the game. And this little X up here also, if you didn't know, this is going to be if you want to X out just to close and quit the conversation, make sure it's not running in the background. Um, so this is just sort of a quick review of the Ava app, which I'm, I'm definitely a fan of this app. I really believe in what these guys are doing. Uh, I'm a fan of the founder. I'm a fan of that, just the original team that put it together. And I think these guys are doing an awesome job. So this is a review on the iPhone. However, almost the exact same app is available on Android. There really aren't any changes to it. Um, besides, I think maybe calibrating the microphone works a little bit better on the Android version. That's really the only thing I could think of. But besides that, they are almost the exact same app and they work very well. And that's usually how I connect is on my Android phone and then my client who has an iPhone. So it's cross-platform. It works extremely well. Never have any problems with it. Um, let's go ahead and just throw it a tough one to close things out. Okay, so we'll let it get caught up. All right, here we go. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. All right, wow, that actually worked pretty good. Um, so something kind of funny about this quote, I don't know if you guys have heard this quote before, but um, this, this quote uses at least one of each letter in the alphabet, which is kind of just, I guess that's your fun fact for the day. Quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. It uses all 26. So pretty cool. Um, and that, that quote is from the font selection screen on a BlackBerry. So if, if, I, if I've got any fans who used to have a BlackBerry, those used to be you know, the cream of the crop. I totally get it. So uh, if you had a BlackBerry or maybe if you're, you know, like if your dad had a BlackBerry or something, um, whatever it is, if you used to be a fan of Blackberries, just give me a comment and say, I was a fan or tell me the phone model that you had. Just give me something because I'm kind of curious. People even remember those, you know, all these fruit phones, Apple iPhone, BlackBerry, you get what I'm saying. All right, guys. This is Nick with Teach All Tech, logging off. I hope you had a great week. I hope the next week is even better, and I will see you next time. Peace.